Have you ever had a sunrise peanut butter tortilla? I recommend it. It's pretty darn good. I'm excited that the sun is hitting me early today because a lot of the other times camping out in the desert, the sun has been blocked by buttes or mesas or, or mountains and it didn't get, didn't get warm till quite a bit later, but uh, this one's hitting me early and I am excited about that because it's chilly again. Thank you, beautiful patch of land. Heading out that way today. All right, okay. Today is gonna to be an exciting day because at some point today I'm gonna to pop out of these mountains at the Sea of Cortez, and I'm excited about that. And camp somewhere along the, the sea. And as always, no flatties, no crashies, no whammies. Arriba! So you wonder what I do at nighttime in the tent when I lay down at 8 p.m.? Well, I've been listening to audiobooks. And one in particular has been very interesting. It's about the life of Fred Rogers, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. For those of you not from the United States or Canada, this guy was a legendary children's show host for almost four decades. And just a very, very sweet and loving man. And one of his most famous quotes, which I absolutely love is, the key to success is number one, be kind. Number two, be kind. And number three, be kind. I think we need a lot more kindness in the world today. Not everybody remembers that. It's one of the golden rules when you're a little kid in kindergarten. Just be nice and share. <laughs> we forget about that stuff. We get caught up in our daily lives and get frustrated and la 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 la, all this other stuff. But just take a deep breath, be kind. What can I do in this situation that will diffuse things? Oh, I know, be kind. Because now I'm going downhill and I'm gonna put the camera down. Hope you enjoyed that, bye. Good morning, horse, caballo. Good morning, donkey. Yo. Good morning, cow. Don't run me over. Good morning, hills. Here we go. Come on, buddy. A little morning hill to wake you up. <laughs> oh, shit. This is a steep hill. It's hard enough to push my bike up this thing. I just looked at the elevation profile of this hill on the Wahoo computer, and I haven't even started it. It goes like, do, 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 boom! <laughs> Straight up like a staircase. Up, 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 and away. I like these little paved sections. It's still steep, but you're not bouncing and slipping on rocks. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? Yeah, we're climbing fast. I think the view from up here is gonna be incredible. What's up, Shadow? Keep going, bud. Good morning, little white burro. The white stallion of the burro world. Are you leading the way up the hill? Don't worry, man. Soy un amigo. Bye bye, buddy. Whew. Yeah, bud. Yeah, bud. Getting closer. I can see on my little elevation profile. Almost ready to top out. It's pretty cool having that feature. Usually, when I go up hills, I have no idea when I'm going to be done. 9.9 .9 times out of 10, it's worth the pain going uphill because the view at the top of wherever you are is always incredible. Check it out. Woo! goes up, must go down.
días. ¿Qué tal usted? Muy bien. Paseando aquí en su tierra. Sí, es lindo. ¿Y usted nació aquí? De veras, muy bien. ¿Usted de dónde viene? Yo soy de los Estados Unidos, Colorado. Sí, es un estado que queda en el centro del país. Es un lugar montañoso. Y... Cuando usted inicia a quedar aquí a Campase, mira qué bonito está para allá. Sí, yo sé. Hay mucha laguna. Sí. No lleva patilla buena para dolor de cabeza. Un... Ah, tengo algunos. This road right here is, I guess you can call it a road. I feel like I'm riding down a riverbed. Oh, man. People ask me a lot if I ever get bored riding my bike day after day after day, and I don't. And my friend Dana has an interesting quote that puts it all in perspective. She's like, I'm excited for today because I have not seen this day before. And that's so true and so simple. It's like, yeah, I haven't seen this day. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what the terrain looks like or who I'm gonna meet. And that makes it exciting, right? And you know, Riding day after day after day in Baja is a treat because the scenery is just stunning. Pedal, 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 we're getting closer. Oh yeah, there it is, wow. Look how blue that water is. Woohoo! the Sea of Cortez. And now I'm looking at my little elevation profile and it's <laughs> while it's very tempting to rage down this mountain you have to be careful because you're not at home where you can just call your mom or your friend to come pick you up. You're in the middle of nowhere. If you slash a tire, if you fly over the handlebars, if you break a collarbone, and you'd be you'd be hurting for certain. So I'll go fast enough to have fun, but I'm gonna dial it back a bit. Also, I'm riding a bike that's way heavier than anything that I would ever ride on mountain bike trails back home. So the handling is much different. Hola amigos. Uh oh. That is totally busted. Not bueno. Crap. Well, broke that piece of the rack clean off. I was about to say before this broke that that was the most jarring downhill by far of the ride and well that just proves it. On day two of the ride I found this in the dust. It probably came off some other bike packers bike and I was like I might need that someday and you know what I think I need it right now. What I'm gonna try to do is just strap that thing right there on top That looks all right. I'm not gonna be able to use my dropper post anymore. I put some more stuff in my frame bag, put some stuff up front. Bike packing's all about problem solving. <laughs> and here I was thinking I was gonna cruise down to the Sea of Cortez. Nope, I had a little bump along the way. When I was way up there on the road looking down, I was excited to get down here and ride along the sea. But all I've got is a <laughs> sandy washboard road. Where's the sea? Come on! I deserve it! You see 
that cactus right there? It's providing me a little bit of shade. Right there, oh yeah. Sometimes you gotta be creative in the desert when you wanna cool off. I'm just gonna stand here for a bit. <sighs> it's been a been a tough morning. Beans and tortillas every day. I thought we were done with the uphill. No, not yet. <sighs> Woo! <Whew. sighs> <God. sighs> <God. sighs> Baja is teaching me a few things today. I have to go up there. Ah! <laughs> All I can do is laugh. Oh boy, come on baby, come on. Going up, going up. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You got it. Oh man. Oh, wow. Every day I keep saying, oh, that was the hardest hill. That was the hardest hill. That one was definitely the hardest hill. That was so steep. Oh God. What's up Shadow, how you doing bud? Woo. Good work today. This has been hard. Look at that view. Well, I'm getting closer to the water. I'm not quite able to jump in yet, but getting there. And these uphills are killer. I've already done 5,000 feet of elevation gain today. Whoa, mama. Whoa! Those dudes are so cool to give me some water. I'm running on empty. I think it's a desert thing. They see people, they stop, they talk, and they make sure you're okay. Almost every single Mexican that's driven by me stops and says, you got everything you need? And usually I say yes, but today I wanted some water. There's the sea, I can hear the waves. It smells so good. It's such a comforting feeling. I'm gonna camp right in front of this church. Why is there a church out here? I have no idea. It does not seem like there's any bit of a community out here, but here's a church, maybe it's for the fishermen. Another beautiful day on planet Earth, that's what I say. Look what I found, it's a little baby shark face. Check that out. See the little teeth in there? Skin is still gray. Crazy. for this moment for a long time to sit next to the open water listening to the waves crash and it feels good to be here at many times during the day I wondered if I would ever get here <laughs> it looked somewhat close when I got to the top of the hill and looked down I was like sweet all I gotta do is ride down hill and I'll be there but that was not the case today was tough today burned me my legs really had to work overdrive I was sweating like crazy and wow, whew, day 11. And then my bike broke. <laughs> I 
But you know, I was thinking about that as I was riding off. It's like it could have been so much worse. Like I could have like my derailleur could have ripped off, or a chain could have snapped in half, or spokes could have broken when the little bag part of the rack fell into the wheel. To get away with just that broken rack, which was easily accommodated, I feel very, very fortunate because it could have been a lot worse. And here I am looking out at the Sea of Cortez. And you know what today is? Today is the eve of my 41st birthday. And what a 40th year it has been. So many highs and lows. I went through a breakup which was heart-wrenchingly difficult, but I learned a lot through all of that. I feel like I'm in a better place. I'm a better person. I feel like I have more tools for the next time I meet somebody, more communication skills. And uh, I got to travel quite a bit and do all sorts of amazing adventures. And I feel good about where I'm at in the world. I think 16 year old Ryan would be very proud of 41 year old Ryan. You know, I, I do what I love on a daily basis. I get to be creative. I get to be goofy. I get to put work out into the world that I feel is bringing value to the world, that is inspiring people. And that just makes me so incredibly happy. I'm close with my family, with my friends, with my community. I'm happy and healthy. And uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's great. Life is good. Life is really good and I'm glad you're, you're, you're with me. I'm glad I get to share this with you because it's, it's, been a, it's been a really good ride and I know it's just gonna get better and better. And uh, you know, 41 sounds kinda old now. I remember when my mom was in her early 40s, I was like, wow, mom's getting old. <laughs> I don't feel old though, I feel as young as ever. 17, 18, 19, 21, I feel super young. I'm still going at it as hard as ever. And I really am grateful for, for this body and this mind. And life is good. La vida es buena, buenísima. And there goes the sun. Bye bye, sun. It's time for a big old birthday eve howl. Hoo! Oh, 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 oh! Yeah! I'm excited for tomorrow. I was just like, can I ride it for the next three days? He's like, hell no. <laughs>